Say good morning, Uncle Raymond. Hello. Good morning, Uncle Raymond. And everybody else. I'm not going to I can never be bothered. What's it? In eating chips. <laughs> <laughs> if he spilled the chips, now he's eating them. You need to bite me. We're fine. We're tired. Bite me, baby. And bite this me. is the weather here in Cape Town today. Weather, Jaju. Cape Town for you. It's like a deep freezer outside. Like a deep freezer. Oh. Like a deep it's a deep freezer outside. We're going outside today. Mm. Yep. Mm? Only so she can go. Yeah. Sasha has gone because he has to go to school. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. My shift has already started. The fact. So while I wait for the nanny to come, that's me and the boys. Say hello. Is the nanny gonna cut my really? No. How does nanny cut your really? Right in the lazy one. They must cut the willy. Uh, All boys must have their willies cut short. Yeah. Yeah, because you, 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 you didn't pee. Mm -hmm. All boys must have their willies cut short. So yeah, no, 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 Don't touch my laptop. Say good morning, everybody. Baby girl. Let me get down. She's mm Buddha and put us on my email. Come down. Come down. Come down. If I want to do the moon, do you set it? you set it? Thank you set it? Don't give time. Don't give time. Go. Give time. Give time. Go and give day. Big mango rush again. 
Ah ah. I said give tai you wa kuita basari kutora na ne bag rango. What do you want from my bag? Say hello. Hello. COVID waiting from home. Hurry, hurry up. Let's get going. <coughs> Motivation is very low. But I'm glad you Baby, I know you're now past five to six o'clock. Oh. It's a good thing, Kunoku. We've got what is called ma macha, macha ladies, whereby you can get somebody to come and help you with the cleaning twice a week or thrice a week, and you pay them daily. Me, I can't be found cleaning and work at the same time and looking after the kids. It's too much. The house is upside down. Where's Mana? Auntie Auntie Lair. There's nothing inside there. We finished the food. <coughs> Give him some more chips. I don't have my chips. The laptop is going to be on it. I'm based in Cape Town. I work for an immigration company. You know, it's my uh, mostly inbound visas, South African. A little bit of UK, Australia, America, Canada. But at the moment, outbound at Twitter because of COVID. So yeah, I'm a freelance. No, this is a freelancer. I'm a freelancer. I work as a freelancer. I work as a freelancer. So I basically help people with processing their paperwork for South Africa. But normal face minister, what you should have on it though. He's probing applications as far as 2004 because of fraud. And it's just killing the trade. Remote yangu yo TV yo ndaka itenga ndeka kam. Don't play with the ngiriki. Manano ni ni. Guys, a remote pass can I do that? But Sasha says it. Manano kuwara. Mtu re remote. Can I have the remote and dile? And when you take the remote from the baby, don't grab it because it becomes aggressive. We are on the petrol. We are on the road. We are on the road. Don't grab. Okay, I put on 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 the bus. You can't say pop. Big time. Come give mommy. I put my motor on the road. Come give mommy. And the
if he got citizenship, Uncle Raymond, he was supposed to apply for late registration. But the problem is late registration, the parent has to be de there to attest and give confirmation. When uh, the citizenship application is not ready, even at over 21, it's impossible because no one ramba. This changed in 2014. My regulations are chaka change or 2000. Minister of Home Affairs Angari very good. Dina lady Pando na kusaza na jamini zuma. Uya gazo uya uyu. Wema grazo uyu giga ba giga ba angani ba nwa nyenyo kuda ma Asians but not particularly Africans. Kana ari uyu we sarin ari in office uyu ama 1000. And the problem is they've got inconsistencies. You find um nasi wa chinja wedha wani nge wedha kwa uma face. Mamu ma application wani nge wache improver. Mamu wani nge wache rejecta. Then you must appeal. You must wait six months for the appeal. And then also approver. You know they've got nonsensical reasons that are erroneous. Umu wache wani nge wache ura dende. He was too much. Yeah, too much. Madiranga kanyanya. Madiranga kanyanya. Because if you look at VFS, VFS is what is managing my application in South Africa. That is that company is owned by my Indians. Meaning, tender to wana easily. Saka. Submission of an application is a cost. Appealing is a cost. What is with home affairs? Why is it saying 133 May? What's for name get us some work? So yeah, we're kind of like facing challenges with home affairs. It's just ridiculous. And now with COVID, they are wasting money probing applications to as far as 2004. So if you've got a permit or permanent residency that was issued in, two th in that time illegally, if they investigate and find it, they are going to remove it. Because can you, Sasha, Sethi, can you pick up that one? Asata Kwara. It's glass. Did you break it? Yeah. It's not broken. So basically, yeah, if one is applying for citizenship through a parent or whoever, that person has to be there to give confirmation that a Munaruwa applied a citizenship no Mziwa. Abambo Bumi, Koshinova Norama, Kudara Jai, Jai Negrigi. Jai. Right. Don't do that. I'm did it. Thank you, my love. I'm going. I want to show you something on the Home Affairs database. How many applications are pending? It's ridiculous. And when you email them, they don't respond. Uno swera uri pa phone na wo. Kana nego geza unta zaku geza urungori pa hold. No. I said no. I said no. They don't answer their calls. They just... Ugh, it's ridiculous. Service efficiency. Kuno kweaka woma. Be it urugu fambira marida. Ko nyangwe. Inkaba maria road accident. Fandi. Marida unemployment. Munom South Africa. Is this my foreigner? Even if you've got my, my residence. You don't get benefits. You don't get benefits. She go away. I don't know my best friend. I don't He had his birth certificate. I can't find it. The only thing I have is his hospital card. The yellow one. He was born in SA. The ID already had an... The birth certificate is issued with an ID number. It depends if he's got the abridged one or, or unabridged. Of which if he's using American documentation, which means he must always be applied, renewing. 
his temporary residence visa. Can I have my other phone, please? Seth? Can I have my baby iPhone? The baby iPhone is there and the Samsung. Please. And the, uh, and the Samsung. The Samsung. That one is the Samsung. The iPhone end up will be the baby iPhone. The little one. Check underneath there. Under where? Under the table or under the the TV stand. Can I have my other phone, please? Can I have my other phone, please? Can I have my other phone, please? Straightforward application that must just be approved. That's fine. I'm going to move in contact with Seth. Straightforward applications that must just be approved without any any problem. And when I come with Kapuvenga, my Zimbabweans, so Oma face Koko, it's like Munwa. And when Tunga Miran to outer road my application, who are my Zimbabweans? My Nigeria, ne ne my India. Hey. I know this is application. I want to put Sanya three days, which is some day or not going to go. Just for a stupid reason. I bought a submit my documents. I don't know that this wasn't there. I don't know what I'm If you want to go down, I, do you find the iPhone? Please. Uh-uh. Uh, Dina, Dina is coming now. Now, yes, Dina is coming now. Now, yes. now, 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 now. Dina, we are manja manja. Put all the money. Shall I talk a phone? Young guy, we. I want to show you an email. I got a woman face. Um, the other day, one of his zoga and fizz what I mean. Uh, let me check here. Silly, silly things. Zooms very, very simple. They make it difficult. They have got double standards. They change their goalposts on a daily basis. Nazan Tara Chakat, Mangwana Chakat, and then they don't follow the regulations that they've implicated or the immigration act itself you find them twisting and turning their statements building application statements but according to what the regulation says you find people adjudicating and making decisions on their own which is very 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 upsetting and it's quite a big challenge that um you are working from pillar to post and they are making a lot of money because for us to submit an application at vfs we have to pay and if the application gets declined, you must pay again. Whereas Kuoma first application but they submitted directly. Why the application is karamba? You can decline it. you can appeal. You don't pay again. Ah, but you've only got two chances to appeal. Can I warn you? We must appeal. No ones must leave. You are given ningrigini. Uh, An OTL. Can I appeal OTL, which means your file is already with deportation, which is um, in order to leave. And there is um, a lot of people, not that I'm going to be saying it in a bad way. A lot of people, not that I'm going to be saying it in a bad way. A lot Yes, of course, it's really hard but it's very unfair for you to give somebody a fraudulent permit and then home to out. I know it's a good airport, and then when they get to the airport, they're banned. I've got so many clients that have got bans for five years, and they need to do their stuff in South Africa, and also my shortcuts are shorter. Tinunya ni akunda shortcut, 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 shortcut.
kana shortcut yeye ya kuzonzi you are banned for 5 years or you've been v-listed v-listed means you can't enter south africa ever again you can't apply for any permit uningo wa kutoka uchi border jumper you 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 live that's why you see a lot of people are in south africa for 10 15 years have a paper because kwa wana futi ma paper for example if you look at a general work permit a general work permit requires you to have a job offer letter an advertisement of the advert from a company to cite why they want to employ what they are looking for and then when you are employed when you get the job they start looking into their unemployment database. What are the art? I want to bullet us. We shan't am South African. Zinga am foreign away you. Um, we employ. I saw I saw many guys last time when I was at all the time being arrested. Both were returning from their countries had fake permits. You see now, yeah. So basically, what happens is. When you are issued with a fraudulent permit, it is on the system for a certain period of time. And then home affairs, like for example, now they are probing as far as 2004. Home affairs then does an audit where they check, Kuti, um, was it this issued legally or illegally? If they find good it was issued illegally, they red flag it. So you know, by the time you get to the airport, and you say, please come this way, ma'am, please come this way. Because the system is not a permit, face, but it was issued illegally. And then there are situations where we have to pay for permanent residence about 200,000. Then they discontinued because the permanent residence is a small sticker. Then they moved to the A4 page. A4 page rela wakatanga kuribiga. Saka kwa kutunuanta you must have the A4 page, you must have an ID. Saka if your sticker is, if your certificate is fraudulent, if your certificate is fraudulent, you can't apply for an ID. In a gay mom system, but airport control, control cannot verify the PR certificate on its own. So you must have a permanent residency certificate and the ID for you to be able to move freely. Without that, we're able to know mirror, which are mirror, which are mirror, which are mirror, which are mirror. You can get a fraudulent permit today. We could and take it three, four, five times. I've been to America, I've lied at this. I know some go, yeah, tell me, but no, some go to the system. I eat it and didn't I touch it? She can't hold the jungish. I just blow it. No, it didn't blow it. The candle's finished. And another thing, um, thank you for the info. And another thing is nyaya uh, drinking and driving. Okay. Nyaya drinking and driving. It could start my application. Ah 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 ah. Nay, day na chaya ruko biko eight o'clock. I pass eight as a chaya. Oh God. What do you want? Nyaya drinking and driving is causing uh people's applications to be rejected they're profiling foreigners so if you've got a drinking and driving case that is pending if you've got uh cases with the saps which is the south african police service immigration you are found to be um uh an undesirable person and all of those things are causing a lot of applications to be rejected because kudarata i apply my police clearance to submit can i copy your case number here and it can can i copy your file number your police clearance what you are found don't bite each other what you are file number your police clearance yeah and then it's just over daddy to vatango submit a file number kuti ai wa police yake record yake richi iri authenticated but now they are going as far as checking they've got the time and effort to kutarisa because it's like a was kubudira vanhu pachena kuti makwirikwira to vanhu but vanhu ngodi a a muri kuti anoi sipana pa ndokutsingai eh ndokutsingai ndokutsingai ari kude you want so if they pick up what you've got a criminal record 
you've got one case here assault you have to rob my application like for example we've got the dispensation permits that are expiring this year a lot of people are going to be we're going to start renewing probably in august all of those things are going to be affecting uh, my applications my ticket here a traffic chayo chayo all of those things must be paid up. Can only my ticket are pending. Try not to be found on the wrong side of the law. Because remember, if you remember the first permit that was issued, the first permits that were issued in 2010, I told out if the person becomes undesirable, they would be declined um, a bona fide stay in South Africa. So they are they are looking attaching all of those things. And the system now is so confused. One can be refused entry at the airport, but via border, they just pass it Yes, Uncle Raymond, you are very correct. A land border and an air border has got different systems. The land border runs manually and the air controlled border in a in a in a rana directly in a p in a Pretoria, but movement control system. I want to pick up my permits. For example, can I uka uma uma I crossa uma client and I I crossa land border. Ne excuse me, I crossa land border. Ne fraudulent permits. Dova afirwa afirwa pa pa ya ku airport. So they urgently had to fly. I'm going to pay for the airport. You can say no. This is fraudulent. I want to bomb Sunga. Vagat, you can see, you can go. So normally, when you are leaving with a fraudulent permit, they give you a form to fill in. In order that you have been banned because you were in possession of a fraudulent permit and all of that stuff, then you leave the country. I have a bite here. What's in here? Na kudi, ana ku. You are four mil. Me put that that can go better. I now you are four mil area. I end up with no problem. I'm good at it. You was cleared the immigration for departure. He left. Pack with Zoka. I have quite a few canaka from Zimbabwe. Kungo no shikapa ora tamba kunda e guta ite entry. Baga murambi. She can go back. She go back. She end up with a few canaka. Aba good at it. No way I go land border. Land border not far from here. We are going to pay. I got foot. So at the end of the day, you find that their systems don't run concurrently. They've got different instructions from from so many people. Could be very consistent. Could be. And we're going to have to tune each and every red. You see that this thing is red. This thing is also red, but chine mutete. And did you? So now. Varu shandi sa zunu zese ziri tu. Iji chindeche red chine mutete. Iji chindeche red achina mutete. Andidi. Panunguti wangu shandi sa chunu one each. Kutichi. Alright fine. Tuku shandi sa chie red iji chisina mutete. You find they will. They want to use both. Kana uka shika kune uyu uyu. Ushu. Uka shika kuna epo. Epo lanti rukutaroti. Dizukuda chine mutete. Chisina mutete. Uka shika umwe musi epo ushaka kwiza. Ano utarati. Ndirikuda chini mtete. So that's where the problem is that there is inconsistency. Muna kazi za chai chai ane degree. Ano rambiru wa general work permit. Kana zunzake ziri in order. Ano iramba. Then they start looking into the company. Kwanzi the company is not labor compliant. The contract is not. The contract is not. Is not solid. So there are so many challenges in, in South Africa that a lot of people, when they come this side, they don't want to go Kuchikoro. They are just thinking, okay, fine. Kudara, muskana we basa taimuwa nisa work permit. But you know it's impossible. Kudara taimuwa nisa work permit. Fine. Um, Any experience, yeah. Child care. Ano, any short course, yeah. Kuchenge tava na wanyama special needs and all of that stuff. It goes, you know, it's not, it's not doing. We're facing challenges. Excuse me. Kuti ma 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 requirements. Ma requirements ani ngai garari set. Aripo, but ku Pretoria wana ngai chumba neri mwe book. Pretoria wana ngai chumba neri mwe book. So you have to make sure that you 
submit an application that is authentic. Um, that one, the one, that one of agriculture permit, are they still issuing it? They are still issuing it, but vetting it is too much. They just want too, too, too many things. Ma permit is a but uninge wambo, uninge wa safa. For example, oh my God. for example, my my business permits, you need to show five million investment. Five million, and did it? Five million yeah, we know. You need to get a, a confirmation from the Department of Trade and Industry. Department of Trade and Industry. Your variety. I had one of my drivers yeah. with that one, but I had to change it. Department of Trade and Industry. Your variety. It report your chartered accountant. The chartered accountant must give a report. It was not about five million. Why wanna copy? How did you get it? How is it going to come into the country? And for five million euro, you must declare forty quid. You know, Sarah and Marie, why declare my five million euro? I'm about to take food for five million euro, which means it's more like you need to look for like for like an extra one and a half million for you to get a business permit. So all of those things are just challenges. You want it a pupu guy, well? Eh? Eh? Why tapu? Now we have to cut our end our life. <laughs> we have to end the broadcast. Say bye to everybody. Bye everybody. I'll probably come back later and explain because yo, I've got so many people that are failing to understand the ethics of home affairs. And home affairs are easy. Permanent residence for a child, for a child who is doing a trip now and is still showing no progress. And is still showing no progress since last year. Remember permanent residence. My permanent residence because no, they are taking two to three years. Especially can I hear it twenty seven can especially can I hear section twenty seven G. Obviously, they'll be verifying. One, they must verify. Ah, uh, all right, second. One, they must verify. Minor Baba permanent residence. Yeah, where was it issued authentically? So that's where the problem is now. The first uh, checking. And the easiest Kudara was to buy property and cash. <laughs> Uncle Raymond, the retirement visa. That's what you're talking about, the retirement visa. The retirement visa, you know, to show a net income of 37,000 rands a month, either in the form of cash or property. If you don't have that, uh, that was Kudara. 1986, Igo Come, let's go. Igo 37,000, yeah, you have a bank statement. Regore. So now, yes. So now they are not approving my retirement visa, but you want to know the requirements are are thirty seven thousand rands a month that you must earn, that you must show income of. Kudara even mana ane retirement, mana ane eighteen years. Asir wa fuma na waberegi wake. I gonna go apply for a retirement visa. Which are not stipulated on the on the requirements or the regulations. And all of that stuff. Retirement visa was one of the easiest, but at the moment it's not. An irrevocable annuity until wafa. My assets you can end up selling them. Saka, we don't want you providing uh, my assets. But they didn't change it. Because at the end of the day, can I have the diaper and the wet wipes? Because at the end of the day, you can decide to sell that house, which means you are stuck. Oh, did you pee? Yeah. Oh, God.
retirement visa and then we used to do ma we would just get an accountant to give us a report of how much the house is good i can she i can sell sell the house and still survive so the best thing that you need to do is when you pre when you are submitting an application you have to state your your case strongly go and put this in the bin you can go submit an application in jail singa tsana nguri ino ngo dzoka yakadaro ai mapamba ya ndo vhinga ino ngo dzoka yakadaro they will just decline it for a stupid reason and no one opens that gore race which you can apply the same bloody app application vanhu vekuma face vane husimbe kana vasingati kwaapurwa vanhu ngotaura na kuti shondo rino tiri kuri jekta tifana kuti rejecta ndisa kana 200 can you go and put this in the washing machine that one is dirty already Hansimana Agajuaro in SA and an eighteen years are they still getting allowed to get IDs? Right. Vane kamwe ka kamutemo ka vaka pasa ke kuti vana vano wana ma citizenship and IDs blah 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 and all of that stuff. Mana ye kana aga tena eighteen. You must show proof kuti ana mbvira aenda ku Zimbabwe kana kuti ku America kunyika kwake. Anofana kuva yakarara mama kore 18 ari muno asina kwaakambwenda. They passed that they they I don't know if that bill was passed or it was something that they just spoke about or they issued a bill. But I haven't seen anybody applying for that ngrikini because vari kungotsika tsika. Omafezi nongotora zvinhu zvakawanda ka asaidi. Ai 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 I eat to come to the table. Chinao ni ngochi wana kutita ne oma face kugara o chingo buda mari. Kusabu mita aplikishe mnungo chingo buda mari. It's like I'm not going anywhere. I'm looking for something for you to do. Saka mwana ne 18 years. Kana anga ine. Kana anga ine. Anga ne makore 18 ari mwono msa gafurika. Ula 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 ula. There we go. Give me one second. There we go. It's very really short. So mana ne 18 years. I think you're looking to come here. Yeah, you should just watch it because obviously South Africa put his feet down, man. South Africa is the child's country of. South Africa is his country of birth, and then any country of origin by descent so the child needs to be in south africa for that entire 18 years without going to the country of origin country of descent because south africa would be the country he would be south african by birth Saka tom pire. I want to show you an email that I received recently from home of his. Saka ma ma immigration consultants and companies must pay home of his to get information, which is like ridiculous. Everything is all about money right now. Everything is all about money, money, money. But obviously, can I hold you back, Dara Maria? Koka, unofana kuwe ruzoto wa noru kudira na wa wandi tozere. Nukutwa mwa choka, ma 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 jugwe. Where is that email? Right. And they also check both parents' status if the child is born. Yes, unfortunately, they check. So if the mother is illegal and the father is legal, the child will not get documentation. They've changed now. 
Okay. So, I'm going to show you an email. I got it last week. Let me remove the brightness ish. Um, yeah. And the companies, firms needing information on public members should follow public access to Information Act and apply for the information on the prescribed forms obtainable from legal services and pay the prescribed fee accordingly. Please contact the legal services for PR forms procedure and costs related to the procedure for information regards Home Affairs Contact Center. So now it turns out with a follow up for a client, you need to pay Home Affairs to get information for your client. Like, I'm asking myself, what the f***? What the f***? What the f***? follow it up. Hi, I'm calling. Uh, I've got a power of attorney for my client. Raymond Makunde has um, appointed me to act on their behalf. They're currently out of the country. They need me to follow up with their child's um, permanent residency. And the final part, be your information. Information that I don't go follow up. You just need um, uh, a power of attorney from the client and a copy of the client's um, details and your details. Because no one send an email. Last week, this email came on the 29th of April. You can see there. The 29th of April. And if you look what I had said to them, following up on a long pending application.